Oh my god! <laughs> Topic I like! And we only have to go for about 30 minutes, so I don't think it's gonna be too bad. Fine. That should be able to cover everything. Yeah. Although, if we go over, that's also not an issue. Okay. Yeah, but either way, uh, I guess I should do the proper introduction because, you know, it's a two, I'm here, and uh, we gotta get this under the wraps. Uh, hey everyone, welcome to, not a rambling video, but a Hanging with Geldum, because I brought in a special guest. Hello! <laughs> I hope my audio is coming in. Oh, it's coming in. Yay! If I can hear you, the uh, recording software can hear you. That's good. I'm glad that I'm making friends with your recording software. <laughs> I guess it just feels comfortable around you. I like how I'm talking about it, like it's a separate entity. Is it not? It's it's isn't it just a bunch of ones and zeros? If it's, so it's, if, it's Camtasia, if it's Camtasia like what I use, then it's a finicky little bitch. With filled with a bunch of ones and zeros. Filled with a bunch of ones and zeros. I'm not cutting in and out, am I? A uh, little bit, but I mean, it, it's it's not too, it's not terrible. It's not anything out of the ordinary. Okay. Yeah. Well, if it starts getting really bad, let me know. If it starts getting bad, to, uh, I'll I be switched, like, we're taking I, five minutes. I switched to uh, my my uh, phone internet, so it should be raw. So it should just be sending everything straight through. All right. Whatever that means, I don't know. I'm very you tired. I'm you sound all day. fantastic. I sound fantastic. You sound fantastic. Anyways, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't wanna, I don't wanna waste your time because we have a juicy subject today. Do, I, do you want to? Do I, you want to introduce it or should I? I have been playing Chrono Trigger, a game that Gildam at one point in time said I should, I should play. Did I? And I bought it. I, you, I don't know. Maybe uh, it sounds like something you'd say. I, 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 I swear, there, there's like another person involved. You're not. The reason you're not the reason I got it, I got it because like uh, the hype for the game is huge, and I finally stumbled upon some more hype for the game, and I was like, you know what? I'll just get it out of the way. <laughs> it's a piece of gaming history or something. Yeah. Oh no, you know what did it? Uh, I learned that uh, I was I was looking through the history of Final Fantasy, and I learned that Final Fantasy VII and Chrono Trigger were being made side by side. Really? Yeah. Shit. Final Fantasy VII has been in production for a long ass time, hasn't it? No, I mean the original Final Fantasy VII, not the remake. Well, that's what I mean. Like the original back in 1997. Yeah, that that was in development for a long time. Yeah. And so was Chrono Trigger. They started at roughly the same time, and they traded a lot of plot elements. Uh, uh, really? I mean, fair yeah. enough. I would never make the association because of the art design. Yeah, it, like the you got Kiritoriyama the right there deciding yeah, but everything. But the writers, the writers were like, like they they worked eight hours a day in in the Final Fantasy VII writing room, and then they ran, and then they ran back to their other job of working in the Chrono Trigger writing room for another eight hours. Damn, I know it was crazy. That is crazy. They just I'm, slept. They I'm, just slept under the desks. I like Chrono Trigger. I like it a lot. I think the characters are, for the most part, adorable. It's an it's an adorable cast of fun people that don't have much of a personality. <laughs> but I don't know what you're talking about. You got Bulma and Goku and um, I, I have no comparison for Marvel. Like it's clear that they have, have a personality. Oh like, yeah. The only. The uh, I learned about um, the spoilers, by the way, for the following games. Yeah. Chrono Trigger. And <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> okay, Al allow me to allow me to elaborate on that. Chrono Trigger, Chrono Cross, maybe Final Fantasy Seven. I don't I don't know how much I can mention Final Fantasy Seven. Uh, I think I've said everything I have to say about Final Fantasy Seven. It's ju it's just I don't uh, remember what element specifically. All I heard was like. Originally in development, Final Fantasy VII was going to be based on like a on like a detective story where where plot elements oh, reveal I, themselves. I, I remember over time. hearing about that, and it was going to be like in in a city, kind of like New York. Oddly enough, yeah, that yeah. plot element got brought over into Parasite Eve. 
Oh, just yeah. just as precaution, we'll also add Parasite Eve into that list of spoilers. This is a God huge no, spoiler list. Don't even watch this video <laughs> if you hate spoilers for oddly games. Oddly enough, I'm less playing Parasite Eve, so uh, I'm I'm gonna try not to talk that too much about it. That is not oddly enough. Parasite Eve is like one of your favorite games. Well, yeah, but at the same you time, you never I'm... shut up about Parasite Eve. Oh, I, I even think when I've you got... don't mention it, I can feel it. I can feel your heartbeat trying to tell me all about Parasite Eve. <laughs> Para. I'm just like, Side so anyway, Gildan, did you hear that Tiger Woods was coming back? And all I hear is, but dump Parasite Eve, but dump, but dump, but dump Parasite Eve. <laughs> uh, no, I didn't yeah, know Tiger Bri, Woods was coming uh... back. That's not how you pronounce your name. <laughs> Jeez. I, actually, I don't really know. It, it doesn't I matter think, too much. I think Marl, I think Marl, uh, going back to characters, I think Marl's like a cute character. I, I think her relationship with her father and her fun loving attitude are are two things that I've had fun exploring. Mm -hmm. But like when she when she finally makes up with her father, that's it. As far as it goes, it's just like I I don't hate you anymore, Dad. And Dad just goes, I don't hate you anymore either, daughter, and then it's over. Yeah. And I don't I don't know if we're gonna hear more about that later, but that's all I heard about it. The way I see it. You don't even finish most. You don't even finish most of your characters' fucking arcs if you don't start doing side content. Mm -hmm. I, I was just gonna say the way I see it, I, I feel like they could only add so much to the game for space limitations. Yeah, I I remember that. That's the big reason they 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 booted off from Nintendo, right? Because Nintendo was just like. All right, we're announcing our next console. And Square was all excited. They're just like, yes, we get more stuff to put on the thing. We don't have to fucking cram. Just like, more cartridges for the N64. <laughs> and Square Enix like, just collectively were just like, that's it. We're done. <laughs> Go to PlayStation. <laughs> I like that's, it. That's literally what happened. That's how they, that's, that's like, it's not exactly literally what happened, but that's pretty fucking close from what I hear. Uh, like Cause somehow cause, it's because they were really tired. They were, they were tired of working with the shitty, shitty disc space of cartridges, uh, and and they're just like, can we, could you guys just use discs? Discs clearly like mega better, super it's the mega better. Future. And they were right. Yeah, they were fucking right. And so they're just like, we want to go make Final Fantasies like in 3D with big plots and big shit. And Nintendo's just like. You could always just use our cartridges. And they're just like, I don't... We don't want to. We want to make big things. And so Corona Trigger was, was their last big hurrah on the SNES. Mm -hmm. A lot of people say Final Fantasy VI was, but that's usually because they're like me and they never played Corona Trigger. I, I, I was just about to say, what about Final Fantasy VI? And then you beat me to the punch. Yeah. <laughs> you knew deep like, down it's like Gilm's gonna say the Chrono Trigger, do it. Chrono Trigger Chrono Trigger on a technical level is clearly superior to Final Fantasy 6 I'm not gonna deny it I, I'm not I gonna sit like here and deny that a lot more grand, grand in scale for certain reasons in 6 in, I think 6 beats Chrono Trigger in every other category <laughs> but I think I think Chrono Trigger definitely has six beat on like a, a technical game mechanic I, I level. I was gonna say time traveling. Like with the way that uh, with the with the awesome. No, that's. I mean, yeah, that's a game mechanic. But yeah. I mean, like with the awesome way that like you enter a battle and like the battle screen is right there on the in the map where you met them. Oh, absolutely. Like your characters get into like a battle stance. They walk around. They walk around fucking stairs, dude. And if I love there's it. stairs, they'll walk up and down the stairs. Yeah. I did like the reason that surprised me is because I do game design and like for for me I was just like oh very obviously what we're doing is we're we're turning the the map into a background layer and we're layering our characters on top of it very similar to how Final Fantasy 7 did everything and so uh, uh spoiler alert Final Fantasy 7 uh the 3D maps you you look at are uh, pre-rendered fun fun fact spoiler well, alert they're not <laughs> It, They're not real. I, I was just gonna say that that happens a lot in in uh, Square Enix's game game development from the er from the era from the from, time. Yeah, that era. Didn't yeah. they do it in Parasite Eve? Uh, it, it feels like it. Final Fantasy VII, Parasite. Eve, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's definitely it's definitely a tactic they got really fond of. But you know what? I, I like it. Put, yeah, it means they had to go out of their way to put like a, a walk path 
towards enemies, and they had to make sure that that walk path included stairs. Mm-hmm. And that's a that's a level of detail you don't see a lot anymore. I know that I know that like it's just like what do you mean? Fucking did you see Final Fantasy 15? It's so magic. Look at all the things flying around the screen. But I'm just like, look at this level of detail. They they have them walk up stairs. Fucking stairs. Yeah, asshole. <laughs> I like look it. At, look at the way Noctis throws a sword in the air and he clashes with stairs! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> the new final boss of Final Fantasy XV. Stairs! stairs. Dude, I, I'm not gonna lie. I would go start Final Fantasy XV again if you told me the final boss was just some fucking stairs. <laughs> or, no, you know, but I, I really floor. enjoy that. I like the way I like the way the battles, like... like I've always enjoyed in Final Fantasy the way the the screen splits up and it's just like battle incoming and you're just like, okay, time to change gears. Mm -hmm. And like, they've always been super separate. But here the battles feel like natural. They're in this world right here. You can see them right here on this map you were just walking on. I thought they were going to do that in Final Fantasy 13, but they couldn't even do it then. Yeah. here, Here was this SNES game where it's just like, we can do it. And I'm just like, holy shit, good on you. And like... I don't know. It's a, it's a matter of taste, but I, I, I just it, it adds to the world for me. It adds so much to the world for me. It's so nice, which is why it sucks. <laughs> Would you that like to elaborate that, that that all of the enemies are just like fucking? You're gonna run into maybe ten different enemies, and then a bunch of moderately changed palette swaps of those enemies. I feel like there's a lot more. Uh, especially in the later levels. I, I would believe a lot more. Uh, I'm, I'm, I feel like I just had a really small number in my head because I'm going through the final area, and the final area is just a fuck ton of pallet swaps. Yeah, uh, that, that's very fair. Uh, have you gone to the giant spaceship? Yes. Okay. I'm in it. I'm at the end of it. I, I feel like there's some pretty original designs there, although I could be remember it, remembering it wrong because it has been a long ass time since I played it. I have a kind of weird complaint, and I don't. So, I like giant bosses. I really do. I think a cool giant boss is really awesome. However, like very similar to Bayonetta, every time they introduce one, I don't get why it's there. I remember uh, there's this scene where um, you got to go free Melchior from this, like, ice prison. And, like, you go there and fucking Satan attacks you. Giant Satan monster. And I'm just like, why the fuck are you here? You don't even talk or say anything. Are you the guardian of Melchior? But he's already... Fr- why? Are you, like, where did this giant thing come from? He go find the Masamune. I didn't even know I was looking for the Masamune. Suddenly two kids are just like, boss fight. And fucking, it's just boss fight after boss fight sometimes, and I feel like there's no build-up for it. I didn't even know this would be here. It's here because we got to the end of a section in a video game. And I get confused sometimes, because it's just like, you you did it! You uh, you made it to the end of this, uh, fucking, what's, what's a good example? I have a, I have a good example where it felt like a boss fight didn't need to happen. Uh, isn't there a section in the sewers? Yeah, there's a section in the sewers where you like cross a bridge and it's just like throw the boss at him and I'm just like, I just crossed the bridge. I didn't know you were here. I'm not even at the end of the dungeon. You're not even at the end of the dungeon. The yeah, fuck. Also, I I I liked learning the sewers were entirely optional. I remember doing out. the sewers and having an annoying track doing the sewers because it felt like, why am I here in the sewers? I know I'm trying why to is, do an objective. the sewers full of all sorts of invisible paths that they don't include anywhere else in the game? Yeah. But I just remember, God, if I could not do the sewers, that'd be great. Or if I could be done with this, that'd be even better. And then they include a bunch of weird mechanics. Like, it's just like, I am a motorcycle man. Race me uh, to your destination. And I'm just like, okay. Okay, and then, and then I beat him, it... and then you beat him, and he's just like, "I can't believe you beat me." Well, I was, I was me just gonna time. say, like, it, isn't the whole race like mode seven? Yep. Yeah. Okay. And that's probably why they did it. Fucking Square Enix loved mode seven when oh, yeah. they found well, it. Well, that and Fuck, also... most of the attacks are mode seven. I was just gonna say, you, you have to add mode seven. You have to talk about it while talking about Chrono Trigger. I feel like it's a necessity. Do you? It doesn't do much for me. Well, maybe they don't not do much for with you, it. but that's the big word when it comes to the SNES. 
they don't do much with it, actually. They, they, have they do that it in that like, racing section, a and a few race. attacks use it. They use it in that race, and a few attacks use it, and, like, not much else. I actually kind of like it when they're not using Mode 7. I really like watching the map change because the map's there. I don't I don't want to see the map from like a weird shitty angle like they do in a uh, fi the Final Fantasy 5 remake. You know, like I I feel like I feel like if you worked so hard to make sure this map is equal in every in every uh every timeline that this map exists in, like I'd like to appreciate that. I have I don't a know. question. I'm just happy that we're not seeing it at a weird angle. I have a I have a question slash issue when it comes to Chrono Chrono Trigger. Okay. Uh, and I, I'm pretty sure you've done this because I figure if you play Chrono Trigger, you're kind of inclined to do just about everything or at least a lot of it. Okay. E either subconsciously or just intentionally. Uh, so you did that one section where you have Robo stay in the past while you, where he plants a bunch of trees, right? Oh, I love that section! Yeah, yeah. And, and that's not my complaint. My because I mean that's super legit. Robots is just like I'm the ages. boss that leads up to that. No, I mean okay. that that is a I guess that is a legit complaint. It's afterwards when you go pick up Robo, he's just like, oh, I, I'm all right. I just worked for like a couple hundred years. I'm fine. You no, figure... he worked. He he worked for like a hundred years, and then he went into hibernation in that temple. Yeah, but I was gonna for, say for, don't, for don't Chrono think... to pick him up later. Don't you think Lucas should just like do some maintenance or something? I'm I'm just thinking from my perspective. Damn, you know, I'm willing to bet. Sure, he probably took care of himself, but a hundred years is still a hundred years. I feel like the guy needs wait. Like, what? A screw. What do you mean? Shouldn't Lu Luca did maintenance, right? That scene immediately transitions into everyone at the campfire with Luca fucking tinkering with him. Do does she? Yeah, oh, okay. she does immediately. I forgot. It's been she, a while. It's been it, it several transitions years. Right, it transitions right to the campfire where Lucas is like, we'll get you patched up and have a nice party to celebrate you coming back. And you want to know what my favorite part about all of that is? What? If you go back, if you go back to the to the medieval era, Robo is still there working. Oh, yeah. As I, he should be. I, I saw that. Because, like, you picked up the Robo in the future, but, like, he's not at the future yet. In because you left him behind, right? He, that robo is still fucking planting the forest, so that's a closed loop, and I'm happy about that. <laughs> and speaking of loops, I got a problem with one of the biggest ones in the game. Oh, please do talk about there's it. There's a fucking there's a moment when you have to get fucking Chrono back, and you do this whole side quest that I I got a little confused about since I I did everything for it except for one thing, when that was forget a guy's name. But like that aside. You go back in time to uh, when Chrono fucking explodes or evaporates or something, mm -hmm. and you replace him with the doll, right? And it's heavily implied that if that's the Chrono that died, obviously these people who saw that death are going to go back in time and replace this Chrono with a doll too, right? I think that's the idea. So the implication is that you have now formed the loop. You went and replaced Chrono... And therefore, they're going to go and replace Chrono. However, time isn't moving when you replace Chrono. Time is stopped, meaning when they go back in time, they'll go back to this stopped frame that you're at, and you should also be there replacing Chrono. My head because is kind of hurting just a little bit, but I'm trying to... I'm trying to... Oh, okay. Imagine, no, I, I imagine I you're it. okay. I know how to explain this in a really simple way. Okay. Imagine you're watching a YouTube video, right? Mm -hmm. Go to about a minute in, pause, and go back ten seconds. You are now at the minute fifty seconds. You everything you everything you can do on this page happens with the video paused at fifty seconds, right? Uh, so let's say you watch the video again and you pause it at a minute, and then you go back to fifty seconds. And let's say that, like, everything you do now overlaps with what you've already done because you're at the exact same time. You should be seeing your mouse cursor at that exact same paused frame because that's where you went to and that's where he went to and that's where everyone else in this loop is going to go to if they, keep, if they keep going to a minute and going back exactly 10 seconds. I kind of didn't know where to go with the YouTube part of this very tired 
but that's more or less what happened. Everyone, thousands of thousands of people should be going back in time to save Chrono right there in, in, that, in that stopped time. Because that, that's when time stops. That's when everyone goes. If time kept moving for that section, be it slowly, the loop works. That means that everyone can keep going. That means that everyone can keep going in or the new people can come in and see Chrono being swapped out for a doll so that they don't res they don't swap out a doll for a doll since there's only one original Chrono. Chrono. And that's about it. The, the loop is dumb to me. And and I don't know much what else to say to it. It clearly worked cuz the story needed it to work, but like the that loop wasn't wasn't as well thought out as it should have been. Well, you, you know they just need Chrono back cuz it's like Yeah, they need a Chrono back. And I I I like the way you get him back just Plays him with a doll, but at the same time, I'm just like, if you put any thought into this, this breaks down. And that is to say, like, it's just like, but Owl Flame, you don't have a problem with the way that you took an egg to the top of a mountain and caused an eclipse of some sort, which for some reason sent you back in time to like a negative dimension where something bad happened. You know what I like about Chrono Trigger? All right, I'm, I'm. Yes, I believe we. I believe we discussed this. Yes, it's how there's literally an end of time. I like that. I've I've always appreciated in it, having an end of time because uh, time can't go on forever. Theoretically, it can. Practically, nothing goes on forever, and that's the point of existence. Mm -hmm. It's very cool. I really like learning about how um all these all these mega people you run into are actually people from the. Uh, 120,000 BC uh who uh who got th who got exiled through time. Yeah. That was cool. I really liked learning about that. I like learning about stuff like that, but I don't like a lot of the main character like like Luca. It's just like what's Luca's story? And Luca's story is sad, sure, and I and I have a small complaint about how this scene plays out which and to which even ends in a question, but um like after you do the ro after you do the bot thing and everyone's asleep after she's like finished fixing bot and everyone's gone to bed, uh, she's just like, "What if I could go back to then?" And then a portal opens up or something, and she goes back in time and watches the way her mother's dress got snagged on a conveyor belt, which dragged her into a machine that does something, and that thus crippling her legs instead of killing her outright. And then we learn, and then we, and then we see Luca crying in her room like later, because she's just like, I just had to see that again, and I'm just like, yeah. And then there's two notes, and one of the notes is left by a young Luca. I don't know how she did, uh, whatever. She's left by a young Luca, and it's just like, if only I knew more about machines. I need to know more about machines, and that's how she got into her, uh, her, her obsession with machines. Because if she knew more about machines, bad things would stop happening. So, so because of her mom, she's uh, she's a technophile. Yeah, because like her mom's like doing a thing, and it's just like you use the password. This is where I get a little upset, cause uh, you actually get to enter that password, kind of. I kept going to the password machine, it's like burn it, burn it. But I knew what the password was. It's the mother's name. I knew it because I read a note that's just like, the password is the mother's name. <laughs> okay. I'm just like, oh, okay. And I'm just like, so I know the password. And Luca read that note, and she knows her mother's name. Oh, see? And she's like, use the password. And young Luca's just like, I don't know the password. And fucking, like, I'm at, I'm at the computer, and I'm just like, enter a password. And I'm just like, okay, now I just got to, Bennett, what happened? Bennett. I don't, why does it keep rejecting me? I know what the password is. Is it case She knows sensitive? what the password is. No, there, it doesn't ask you to enter anything. Oh, okay. You just, it, the screen pops up, it yells at you, and then the screen goes away. So, so was I missing a note? Was you I missing might have been a note missing a note. The mother's name? Was I, did I need to not only know that the password is the mother's name, but I need another note with the mother's name on it? Oh, you know, probably... Does Luca not know her own mother's... I, I was gonna say, you know, probably have to have the middle name in there, too. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Could you imagine? And I was so annoyed, because I felt like I had no control over that scene, despite the fact that the game was just like, you have total control over this scene. I'm just like, no, I don't. And I didn't. I, I, I and you don't like get a do-over. You do not get a do-over. 
the scene the scene ends in her mother's legs getting broken and the machine being like, You're a dork. And then he's like, Don't call Luca a dork. She's watching her mother get crippled again. I was just gonna say I like the idea that uh the the password is so specific that not only is it her mother's first and last name, it's also just like her male name has to be in there too. I know what my mother's middle name is. I know what my father's middle name is. Smart people, like, I'm not, I'm fucking, th that was going to sound really dumb. Smart people know what their fa parents' whole names are. I don't, I don't believe that, but. Sorry about that. I just, I'd assume the smart person that is Luca could at least know her mother's whole name. There is a dog outside. We might have to take five. Real we might quick. have to take five. Sorry about that. The neighbors are just I don't like walking their I don't... dogs. Yeah, dogs are cool. <laughs> and, and I'm just like, I wonder if this is distracting Owl Flame. Because I'm not trying to. I'm just like, I'm listening to you. But at the same time, I'm just like, holy shit. No, that was just a here. scene that really that was just a moment that really bothered me and it's it's a really it's a huge shame because right after that scene is like after that scene is a really heartwarming scene oh there's a lot of heartwarming scenes because after after that scene she walks out of the portal clearly upset and the robot approaches her and she and he's he says fucking something i don't remember what but he said something that i thought at the time was adorable and she's like thanks robot you're 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 a good friend and uh Oh no, you know what he said and in hindsight I think it's a little fucked up. He's just like, if you want I can remove my legs and you can you can attach treads and you can you can use my legs. And I'm just like, are you are you offering to replace her mom's legs? Did you see that flashback? Oh, you know, they're they're just gonna do uh they're just gonna do a little surgery. A little prosthetic yeah, surgery. And, and so I guess I guess bot saw that robot saw that flashback, whatever. And then she's like, thank you. And then he gives her Amber, and um, that Amber then becomes Revival earrings. I don't know. I didn't wear them. I, I, got, a, I got a special. And so you get that, and then you get the Revival earrings. Like, that's not a question. Like, I know that's what they give you. Mm -hmm. I just think it's weird that that's what Amber turns into. Uh, well, I mean, if we're talking about Amber, I mean, you you're, you're also got to remember there's a Pokemon game where... Fossilized Amber turns into an Aerodactyl. I guess that's fair. And yeah. So he gives you an Aerodactyl. <laughs> just an Aerodactyl. He's just like, here, you use this. And so that's kind of the end of Luca's arc, mostly because she's a fucking annoying, useless bitch, and I don't put her on my team. Oh, come on, man. She's the bomb of like the her. group. I don't like her at all. Except with purple hair. She's like, she's like shittier Bulma. <laughs> I don't know if that's an insult or like. At the very <laughs> least, Bulma was in. At the very <laughs> least, Bulma was integral to someone else's character. I, I'm just, I'm a little confused how to answer this. All all Luca was was just like, I like machines. I like machines. My mother's crippled. I like machines. <laughs> Ro Robo's just like I was created. Also, I, I have a live. girlfriend. Like I had such, I had, I had so much more of an emotional attachment to the moment where all the robots were just like, "You are defective, defective." Yes, you are supposed to kill all intruders, and and like they all I just start. I remember fucking, that they fucking start curb stomping robot right in front of you, and the game even gives you movement. And I'm like running in there, and they keep bashing me out. And not only do they keep bashing me out. Like, um, Smiler keeps telling you to, uh, fucking, I call him, I called him Smiler for personal reasons. Robot keeps telling you to fucking stop. Don't hurt his friends. Cause they're all his friends and he cares about his friends. And I'm like, holy shit, this robot's adorable. Leave him alone even harder. I felt so attached. They were, he was so interesting. And then there's Marl and Marl's just like, well, fun. F I want to have fun because fucking I'm royalty and royalty's shit. <laughs> and like you go to the past and she's like, I realize I look like the queen, so I like put on a dress and I'm just running with it. And I'm just like, that's pretty cool actually. I like the way you adapted really quick instead of going, Wah! And, and and then of course she's like, Oh no, I'm disappearing. Turns out I'm... this was not the right answer. Yeah, it, I mean it didn't work out for her because she didn't think it through, but at least she did something. Yeah, yeah. 
And I don't, I don't mind a character who's too stupid to understand how a paradox works. Which I don't is. fucking mind that. If you don't know how a paradox works and you do something to cause a paradox that's removing yourself, fuck it. Who cares? That's awesome if that actually plays into your fucking character. <laughs> if you do something with it, that's fine. And I and and like so much shit came out of it. But like at the same time, like fucking Luca, you didn't do anything. <laughs> I made a remote. It goes through tide gates. So, to like, well, be Luca, fair, Luca is the reason Marl got thrown into the past to begin with. Holy shit, the adventure never would have happened if Luca was competent. Right? Well, uh, to be... Okay, to counter... To counter set the argument that... Uh, counterpoint, because I have to correct myself, it's also because Marl had that pendant. Yeah, and... I'm not entirely sure why that pendant fucked with the time gate. You know, maybe, maybe I know it was just pen- combination We know what the of pendant materials. is now. I know what the pendant is now, and it's not like magic. No. It's not. It's not magic. It's it's specifically a key, specifically for crest doors and bo- and boxes. Yeah. Like it was designed. It was designed as a as a scan bar. That's it. Like, it, sure, it's got a little bit of juice in it that allows it to, like, same reason if you scan your credit card, it, it <laughs> fucking works. That's because it can send out a back signal. But, like, that back signal should not have fucked with everything as much as it did. The only thing I can think of is, like, you know, a combination of the materials. Like, I don't know, the 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 transportation has these waves. I think the weirdest part for me is that the fucking pendant didn't go with her if it was the cause of this. Yeah. It literally locked itself in our timeline. And yet it which was, was able weird to if it was the reason else. Marl's traveling through timelines at all. Like, is it not the reason this is happening? If so, it should be what's pulling her through the timeline. And, and yet, Instead, it sort of pushed her through the timeline, like, and stayed behind, like, na 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 I'm a plot device. <laughs> I got a question. Keep in mind, keep in mind, closely following that, when you use it, it goes with you. I was just going to ask that. No, 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 that was, my, that was my question that I was just about to ask. Does it go with you when you, like, follow... When you use it, it goes with you! <laughs> so it just unlocks itself in time. So it's not time-locked! <laughs> so the question is, why? There's no answer for this. Crouchard, why does every story that involves time travel make no sense? Is it because his name is Chrono? And as we all know, Chrono is land for time. Can I talk about positives for a minute, since people are going to think I hate this game now? Well, I was going to say, we also have three other characters to talk about, but yeah. I um, love Chrono. I think Chrono is a great character. Even though he's the he silent doesn't say, mute. He doesn't say a goddamn... Okay, did you play the SNES or the PS4 version? I played the PS4 version, or the PS In- version. The yeah, one that came okay, with the so uh, Final Fantasy the reason, the reason, The reason I really like that is because in all the anime cutscenes, which I have a small complaint about that, but fuck it. In all the anime cutscenes, uh, every time I see Chrono reacting to things, his reactions alone make me super interested in his character. Mm-hmm. Like the way, um, like the way uh, Frog fucking walks up to the wall and he slashes it in half with the Masamune. Which is and we get a nice clo- and we get scene. A no- and we get a nice close-up of fucking Chrono and he's just like, yeah. There you go. That's my party member. That badass right over there. Yeah. And that's all I got out of his facial expressions was like, fucking Chrono, you, Chrono's not the kind of guy who'd assert himself as the protagonist. Chrono's the kind of guy who's just like, I'm traveling with a bunch of badasses through time. That, that's really this it. Sick. This is fucking sick. And like, that's all I get out of him. And I love that. Every, like, like, fucking, you get thrown in prison, and he's just like, well, I mean, like, I'm, I'm the hero now. We, I've already started traveling through time. I better, like, not die in a cell. I was just going to say, I, I feel like, well, this is a situation I'm in. Might as well get out of it. And plus, I think the cell, I think the cell thing has, like, multiple ways of getting out of it. I feel oh, like yeah. there's a few moments in the game that have, like, multiple answers to it, which is fucking revolutionary for the SNES. I got a question. Yeah, and I'm sure they did answer this slightly, but uh, why why is the boss of the prison area a giant dragon mech? Oh, cause cause they they made it to stop escaping prison. It's a little overkill. Yeah, it's a little oversized to... too. 
Oh well, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. It had to be a dragon. That's I think it's be isn't it because isn't it because the um isn't it because the chancellor's a demon and therefore he's just like I gotta make sure everyone I against don't my know plans. If the chancellor's fails. a demon. I think he was just. He like, is a demon. Is he? He's revealed to be a demon oh, later, shit. and then we learned that the actual chancellor was hidden in a box. Okay. That's why the chancellor was so fucking evil. You, you gotta remember, it's been it's been a couple years. So if I if... yeah, so at that time, at that time, the chancellor had been a demon for a while. Okay, so that's why he's like throw him in jail. Even if you make all the right decisions, you still get thrown in jail. There's there's no escaping prison. There's you can't escape prison. It's you impossible. Can't. You yeah, can't. but he's a, he's a demon. That's why that's happening. Okay. And he's a demon. Working he's for a demon Magus because the chancellor. He's, he's he's, a, he's a, no, he's not working for Magus. Really? Uh, his 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 great grandfather was, oh. but uh, the old chancellor was also a demon, and you had to kill him. And when you kill him, uh, you 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 then set into motion the the. Uh, the reason the chancellor's evil in our timeline now because he was he was he was also a demon who took over for the chancellor and is following in his grandfather's footsteps because the chancellor wasn't really evil before then but then he got but then you caused the it that's so smart they do so many cool things with timelines in this game it's just anytime it's main plot relevant that it doesn't make any sense but like I really love I really love switching between the maps. I, I enjoyed it way more before they gave you the fucking spaceship thing. Oh yeah. Because they... I really liked I really liked going through the portals in in the at the end of time because it felt like that's this is my hub. This is a cool hub to be. It has a save point and it has like a heal point, weirdly enough. And it even has a fight the final boss point, which I might go into in a few minutes. I, I was but just like, gonna say, how do you feel about the time traveling theme? Like when you're in the I really spaceship? like it. I really like it a lot. It's I really so like happy. going into one. I really like going into a timeline and doing something, and then going into another timeline and doing something else. I, I really, I really like watching things correlate with each other, mm. and I, I like, I like the cause and effect relationship of, of having having an actual effect on the maps, each of the maps individually. I think that's so cool, and I love it. And then it does some shit that doesn't really make a lot of sense. For example, like, you know the dinosaur people you fight? Yeah. Why, um, why did they last for, uh, how long did they fucking last? 1,200,000 BC to 600 AD. Why did they last 12 million fucking years underground after Lavos hit the Earth? Wait, uh, I'm sorry. Can you repeat that? So they. So you you beat up you beat up the evil dinosaur people yeah, who were kidnapping that. tribes people or whatever. Yeah. And, and then and then it turns out that they've actually been living underground and and you have to go fight them again in the in the, uh, the six hundred BC era. Okay. So they're st okay. Uh, they're guarding the they're guarding the they're guarding the rainbow shell that you want. Right. And um, you use that rainbow shell to kick moral story into action. Right. Right. Uh, I mean, I have, I have a couple ideas, I have a couple hypotheses, but it nothing just, is it really sad. It just seems weird that the dinosaurs last that long. I, I'm going to say Without anyone noticing, more specifically. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to say self-preservation. I guess. That, that's the only real legitimate answer they I sure can did really give you. Self-preserve themselves underground for a really long time. Oh yeah, yeah. Without even changing that much. I. There was no evolution in that twelve million years. I have to I have a counterpoint in false Chrono Cross, and I don't want to say any more than that. Okay, I'll believe you. Okay. I'm not, this isn't a major point for me. I just thought that was weird. Okay, I want to say there is some things that are further developed in Chrono Cross. <laughs> However, uh, much like my opinion when it comes to Chrono Cross, a lot of things are very subtle. So there are some things that it's like there's correlation here with the sequel well, game on the PlayStation. However, a lot of them are subtle, in my opinion. There's some things that are super obvious, but that, that's all I can really oh, I say. Wanted to, I wanted to talk about cutscenes again. Oh, I like, want to talk know, about cutscenes. You know the animated cutscenes? Cut I want to talk about The characters. animated cutscenes are neat. What's really weird about the animated cutscenes is the way you watch the animated one first, mm -hmm. and then you watch that exact same sequence of events play out in, in the in engine. I mean, you you understand the reason, right? Yeah, because originally it was on the SNES, and now they they added the cutscenes to that. Yeah, I get that, 
But like at the same time, it's just like I remember. I, I remember this came. This became a huge deal for me when uh, when the frog got the Masamune. He's just like, I'm gonna cut this mountain in half. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, whoa! And it looks badass, right? And it looks badass. And then and five seconds like, later, that was it's awesome. Like, and then five, five seconds, seconds later, you gotta you watch the 16-bit again, version, but worse. <laughs> it's like he surely actually, did actually, do that. Actually, I'm not that. gonna lie. That there are a few cutscenes that I think looked better in engine. Like uh, the scene where Chrono sacrifices himself, I think that looked fine in an engine. I don't think the I think the animated cutscene made that look overdone. Well, there is it one benefit very, to that though. It was very clear what Chrono was doing. Yeah, but yeah, the benefit is the benefit is if you if you only like one or the other, you get to watch the one you like. <laughs> Actually, at some that point. wasn't what I was gonna say, but I mean that is a valid point. <laughs> I was gonna say in the cutscene where Chrono sacrifices himself. You get to see what's his name as a little kid. You see what's whose name? I what? Mean, like, like the oh, prince. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you get to see him in that cutscene, saying right. that cryptic thing. So cryptic. Yeah, he, I, he's I, got. I, he's I think part I, of the anime cutscene. So cryptic. <laughs> so pointless. Uh, okay. But yeah, that was just that was just weird watching yeah. the same thing yeah. happen twice. I, I do have I do have and sometimes topic. sometimes it looked worse. Sometimes I'd almost rather just u- using my imagination in the in engine cutscene, like in the introduction to what is the ancient girl's name? Uh, Ayla. Ayla. Isla. Isla. Ayla. Isla. Whatever. Yeah. And so you get introduced to her, and in the cutscene, she's just like. Kind of mildly beating down all, all these monsters, and those monsters do look more like monsters in they, the, they in the anime. They look more cutscene. like dinosaur people. They more look more like fucking dinosaur people, and she's like beating him down, and 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 we get a zoom in on Chrono, and just like this is awesome. Yeah, and then we get uh, a zoom in on her running away. I, I and got then, uh, and I then, got a small comment about Isla's character design. It's fucking plum yeah. launch. I have no idea what that means. Uh, so Dragon Ball. Do you remember the character Launch? Oh, she's Launch. Yeah. But, you know, oh. Blonde, because Launch had that one thing where every time she sneezed, she'd jump between personalities. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't finish Dragon Ball. It's fine. At least you know who I'm talking about. That's really I the important part. I know who Launch is. Yeah. That's what the, a that's the main part. Yeah. Uh, and then she kind of became irrelevant after Dragon Ball. She not only became irrelevant, they stopped using her. Yeah. I think her last scene was in Dragon Ball Z, if I remember correctly, and it's extremely minor. If you're I like me, it. you completely forgot about that one scene. Well, Dragon Ball Z is really long. Yeah. I'm trying to think of anything else I feel like I should mention. Uh, I feel like we should I talk really about... I really like Chrono's mom. <laughs> <laughs> mom! Like, as a, char- as a character, Chrono's mom is adorable. I really like the way that if Chrono's not in your party and you, and you, go, up to, and you go up to Chrono's mom... She'll just go, I sure hope Chrono's keeping out of trouble. I sure hope he's okay. And there's something genuine feeling about the way she says it. And it's fucking in text, just like fucking, I don't know. It's something about the way that Chrono's not in your party when she says it. Picture talking to your mom in any Pokemon game. Anything where it's like, I hope you're staying out of trouble. But like, when it, when it's not in the party, it feels like, I, I hope he's not fucking dead. Well, it's that because, would, you know, she's thinking about her son. Like, like, oh, and then there's a, there's a moment after Chrono dies where I feel like visiting her. Because, just because. And fucking, she's just like, sure hope, like, I hope you're all keeping safe. I hope Chrono's okay. And I'm just like, is she okay? Because to be fair, she learned at some point that her son was to be executed. And she hasn't really seen him a lot since. <laughs> you know, that is a she, good she point. mentions that. She mentions that to you. When you go and, vi- and I, I keep visiting her all the time to get her opinion. Since Chrono has an actual so, fucking so mom. I got can a talk question. To. Her her dialogue changes throughout the game. Yeah. Okay. Her dialogue keeps changing throughout the game. Like like shortly after you get back from uh the execution. Uh, the, the, or like when she gets arrested, and she's just like, "You fucking gave me a heart attack. I thought you were, I thought you were being executed. You're, you're keeping safe, right?" And like, all you can respond with is leaving. I, I don't know. I felt like, 
I felt like she fucking puts up with so much more than any other RPG protagonist who can talk to their mom at any point in the story. Oh yeah, absolutely. She feels like she feels like a character despite having maybe six lines. Well, maybe because she, her dialogue changes in accordance to the her actual events. Her dialogue change her dialogue changes and she's going through shit. Her son, she doesn't she's an only mother, clearly. Yeah. Fucking her son is out there doing God knows what, and at some point was almost executed. And, and he's still off on an adventure. And, and... Then, and then at some point, and, and I'm, I'm just going to chalk this up, and I don't have proof for this, but I'm going to chalk it up to Chinese, Chinese, Japanese, like in, mother's intuition bullshit and storytelling, where it's just like, Chrono dies, and her dialogue changes to like, I hope Chrono's okay. I don't know. I feel like that's a good Google subject, though, to look up. Or if any viewers know, I mean, please leave your comment below. Alpha Flame will really like, appreciate it. <laughs> and that's like, uh, I don't know, I just thought, I really like her. I like her a lot, despite the fact she, she doesn't do much. Oh, that's, that's she fair. doesn't actually contribute to the story at all. Like, at all. <laughs> well, Not a single time. It, it's flavor text. I also I also it's really flavored. like the way party members interact with each other as they're in your party. Like normally when characters are in your party and they interact with scenes, it feels very inorganic. Like I have my set predisposed lines that I will I will regurgitate now because I am in your party. Mm -hmm. I am also in your party and here are my lines for the scene. <laughs> They'll talk to each other. They'll talk to each other no matter what combination of characters you have. Even if Chrono isn't in your party, if you have a three characters that aren't in your party, they'll respond to each other. Sure, you can see the generic breaks in it so that they can insert new dialogue, but they're fucking responding to each other and it feels organic. They're, they're responding to scenes. I brought Marl with me to, re to revive Chrono and she's fucking... There's a long-ass scene where she gives a Chrono a hug and she's like, don't ever do that again. <laughs> and I'm just like, it's adorable because it's like there's an actual relationship forming between this mute and this woman I've had in my party the entire game, <laughs> and it's fucking, it's so nice. I really like that a lot. Even when I had Magus in my party and like two other hoo ha's, fucking, they were talking to each so other. So you didn't execute Magus, or rather, didn't you didn't execute kill him. Magus. You didn't kill him. No. Okay. No. Because you can't actually most, get, kill mostly him. Mostly because I saw the scene where she's like, you want to fight? And I'm just like, very clearly if we fight, you die. And if we don't fight, you join my yeah. party since I'm missing yeah. a party member. That, that I was, was one of those options I was, where it's I, like... I was pretty convinced that if you fought Magus, if you didn't fight Magus, he joined your party. Yeah, and, and, and actually behold, that, that is exactly what happens. If you do fight him, he dies. He dies. He's, he's he's gone. He's no, but we we've already we've already learned his plight up until that point. He's not the villain everyone thinks he is. No, he's a victim. He's a victim of circumstance, trying to fix it in whatever way he can make happen. And I like Magus. Yeah, he's a f fucking actually good character. I'd say he's the best character in the roster if he fucking. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like I. Uh, no, uh, legitimately, Magus is probably he, my favorite. If he didn't come so late, I think I'd like him more. If mm -hmm. he had more time to establish himself in the party, I think I'd like him more. He joins you almost as soon as you learn that he's probably actually a good guy trying to beat Lavos. Yeah. Like, I knew Which something was up the, the second is. I, I knew something was up the second, like, it's just like, you, you created Lavos. And it's like, idiot, I'm not fucking, I didn't create Lavos, I summoned him. And I'm just like, why would you feel the need to clarify that distinction if you're evil? Clearly, clearly you think that it's important that you didn't make Lavos. Because a lot of villains, a lot of villains even in this very game, I feel, would take the credit for making Lavos. Oh, absolutely. But he specifically didn't. And I think there's a reason, for, and I thought there was a reason for it, and there very clearly was. Mm -hmm. Also, the fact that he fucking survives. He's the only. He's like the only boss that fucking survives. Oh my god, Ozzy! Ozzy! I love Ozzy. We have to talk about Ozzy. Ozzy's hilarious. Well, we also have to talk about Slash and Flea, the Deftone trio. Oh, which um, which let's be fair. You you Slash get the reference right. If if you no, don't get the no. reference, allow me to elaborate. So 
Their names are all based on actual. Oh, Ozzy Osbourne. Yeah, Ozzy Osbourne slash, slash from. And I don't know who Flea is. Uh, Flea from Red uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers and Slash oh. from well was from Guns N' Roses, but not anymore. Yeah, well, yeah. Back in the day. Okay. All right. Yeah, little, little fun trivia factoid. They they as characters did nothing for me. Well. Please. Literally has the nothing. Infamous, like uh, I'm actually a she dude. She has one drag. moment. She has one. She has one moment where it's just like, you think I'm a girl? I'm a guy. And, and she's like, oh. And then Marl goes, oh my god. And then Smiler says nothing. And and like Kronos just like, we fight now. And that's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it's the infamous. That doesn't line. actually even come up again. It doesn't. But it's the infamous line. I thought it would come up again, but it doesn't. Well, why would it? I don't know, because she's such a shitty character. Well, Otherwise, they're all shitty characters. But Ozzy, Ozzy was hilarious the whole time. Uh, Ozzy like, was about the equivalent of what's his name from Dragon Ball. And for Ozzy, Ozzy was Ozzy existed exactly when I needed him because I needed a laugh, and he was there to. Oh, finish. absolutely. I, because you just finished this long ass fucking monster boss grind or whatever the fuck. And then he's just like, ha ha, my traps. And then like the first time they're actually really good traps, uh, a little shitty in, in execution because it's chance, it's pure chance if you don't know where they are. But uh, the second time you run into him, I, I liked running into that hallway and it's just like, take this. And he, and he draws some monsters up and, and then they end up walking on the conveyor belt. The battle music plays up and they fall down the pit. The battle music like, ed, like fucking record scratches out. And it's just like, oh, I goodbye. <laughs> and then uh, in, the, in, the, in the next room, you go, you go in. It's like you'll never get past this trap. And he's just put like a fucking, uh, uh fuck. What is, what is it called when um a guillotine? He put a guillotine in front of a of a treasure chest, and he's just he's just mashing it. He's fucking mashing it, and you're just and he's just like, yeah, I know you want that treasure fucking you could just walk i don't i didn't go for the treasure i just walked on past because i knew something would happen he's like you're not going for the treasure and then a monster comes in he's like oh, treasure and he goes in and he just starts getting mashed up and he dies and i was just like i but oh and he just fucking leaves <laughs> and then in the third room in the third room it's uh he, he's he's taking advantage of uh Every, how you beat him last time with the buttons behind him and you hit the first button and it opens up a trap door that just knocks you into the last room <laughs> so you go back and so Smiler opens his mouth and he's just like I don't see what the point of that was and you go back up and he's just like haha how about that and then a cat comes up and just presses the last button so you don't have to do the whole sequence again <laughs> twice and then he's just like, no, and he dies. And I'm just like, that was funny. That whole section was funny. I laughed a lot. I, I try I'm to remember. Sorry. I, and I'm I think sorry. my favorite whole part. Is all good. No, it's all good. I, I, I like Ozzy. I think I think he's probably one of the best minor antagonists in the whole entire game uh and, and he's so memorable too i think my favorite is actually more indirect and it's with his uh it's it's with his descendant how uh before before you fix everything he's like the king of he's like the new leader of all the uh all the monsters and, oh yeah i know who you're talking about yeah i know exactly who you're yeah, talking about yeah. ozzy the fourth yeah or something like that. Doesn't matter. But when you when you fix everything, it's like some imp, and now Ozzy's like in charge of cleaning the floors. And I'm just I, I gotta go laugh. Yeah, you that. walk up to him. You walk. He used to be like my great grandfather or some shit was Ozzy, and the, and people still worship his statue today. And then like you and then like you kill Ozzy, and he's just and it's just like I'm sorry, sir. I'll get back to cleaning. <laughs> and that was the best because you just have like this imp who's just like, oh yeah, we're we're friendly towards humans. They're pretty good the whole lot. By the way, Ozzy, you haven't finished clean cleaning and scrubbing the floors. Get back to it. Yeah, I love that. I love <laughs> I love that. I love watching. I love. I I kept track of almost every change I made happen before I made a change happen, mm -hmm. and I knew and I had a pretty good idea what it would affect. I'd make sure to go check the thing before I changed anything. Yeah, and that was always super cool. I had so much fun with that. I think the way they handle the time traveling mechanics is super good between the medieval era and. My day <laughs> everything before or after that has no correlation to anything 
I mean, it's been a while, so I, I can't really disagree or agree with I you. Can't, but I, at the same I can't time, find I, a like single, I can't find a single thing that'll change any era other than the two eras. Yeah, I think I think you're pretty much right. And I'm a little, I'm uh, a little sad about actually, that. Actually, there is gonna... one thing. Just, just okay. one minor thing. It's it's the battleship uh, palace. That'll be in every time. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I haven't beaten the battleship yet. Okay. Well, this isn't really a spoiler because you can, you can go see this for yourself you can switch to any time it'll still be there oh yeah i've noticed that <laughs> yeah i just i had to i had to tell that because it's like oh yeah the battleship's there which i, I have to ask except i think in the prehistoric time because that happened well, because it didn't exist yet. yeah yeah but i'm just thinking man it's just been up there doing nothing for how long the queen, the the fucking queen has been up there doing nothing. Yeah. I've entered, I entered the ship in three separate timelines, and all she has to say is she's been patiently waiting, and then she tells you how many more years till Lavos attacks. Yeah, and it's just like, what the fuck? Are you gonna You're literally rain just acid? sitting here doing nothing? Are you gonna You're rain on some town or waiting? something? You figure she'd You're get waiting bored. For a... Well, it's. It's 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 heavily implied that she's under Lavos's mind control. Yeah, and so but at the Lavos same time, is willing I mean, to sit there patiently. You figure Lavos might be like, oh yeah, uh, w w would you mind attacking well, that small village? That's kind of the thing. Lavos Lavos is just like, I am willing to patiently wait to cause my apocalypse, and I don't have much investment in anything until then. Here's a question: the only reason what is the Lavos only reason even I tried to do destroy the world? Why? I don't know. See, it, it looks like he it. By the sound of it, I, I remember a th few throwaway lines about Lavos, which is from the Queen, which is like, he goes to a world, he, he stores up the energy, and then destroys it, and then he goes to another one. He sounds like Genova from Final Fantasy VII. Yeah. Based world, I'm... Gee, I wonder why. I, 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 <laughs> is that, is that just were, Square's were being thing? being written side by side. Is that just Square's thing? <laughs> we're gonna create a parasitic... A parasitic alien life form. Have it I mean, suck up all those aren't the, the only two times. Those aren't even the only two times Square has done that. It's They've gonna be exactly didn't. like the Tree of Might from Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, exactly. Square is ripping off the Tree of Might from Dragon Ball Z in an alien life Bag form. Square for ripping off for ripping off the Tree of Light from Dragon Ball Z. Yes, the Tree of Light. No, and and so that's. So that's why I don't think Lavos is going to be a very memorable villain because he's just like, he shows up. He's he's everyone's just using him as a power source really until he fucking comes up, destroys the world, not even completely, and leaves. Oh, I remember Lavos. I remember because he's just this. He's just basically this boogeyman. It's a fucking weird porcupine bug. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was just going to say, I remember Lavos because he's basically the antagonist. I remember the first time I saw Lavos nothing. and I thought, I remember the first time I saw Lavos coming out of the ground from the flashback. And I thought with absolute certainty that was a giant head coming out of the ground. And Lavos <laughs> is just a giant man. It's a Titan from World of Warcraft. Titan from Attack on Titan. Oh, absolutely. I thought for sure that's what would hap what happen. It's just like. You can go to 1999, the day of Lavos, and and I, I'm well, I guess we can segue into that. Fucking so it, yeah, any remember given time, 1999? You can go fight the final boss. Yeah, you can do that at any time. Given, yeah, you can go fight him at any time. That is so cool. I want to clarify. And also, so dumb. I want to clarify. This is the reason why in New Game Plus there there's like replayability and multiple endings. There's multiple endings. The, yeah, like you won't, you'll only get the canonical ending like the first time because you know Lava's pretty effing strong. But you'll have New Game Plus, and I don't remember how it, how many endings. I think there's eight, but there might be more. But yeah, basically in New Game Plus, you can fight him at multiple times, and you'll get a different ending. Oh, cool. Yeah. That's that's cool for replay value. There's extra content on my disc that it keeps asking me to click on that I haven't clicked on yet. Fair enough. I, I don't want to spoil too much about Lavos because I'm just, I'm I'm gonna beat the game yeah. first. <laughs> because one, you haven't gone that far, and two, you're you're still working your way through the giant battleship. I have to say, some of the enemies were I'm kind of fucked up. I'm on... at the end. I've already 
I've already fought the queen. I I got to the point where you where you fight her head and two hands that just keep draining oh, yeah. your shit. Okay, all right. And then uh and then I died to that and then uh and that's uh, when I had to go to work and I haven't really touched the game since. Okay. I, I will say uh that that form was really effing lame, but I remember it being kind of a bitch. Uh, I also remember, like, the spaceship has a lot of really weird enemies. Like, it has this alien thing that, that is really weird. Yeah, y y did, once again, uh, very common to how I play Square Enix games, um, it took me until basically the end of the game to learn that you could run away from battles. Oh, hey, there you go. So, uh, once I got to the spaceship and I learned that you could run away from spaceship battles, I'm just like... Why would I engage any of these monsters? I want to finish this game. I think some of them also have, like, uh, instant kill moves. Oh, I haven't run into any of those. I, I think uh, there there are several enemies on the on the spaceship that have them. Is Lifeline... Is, I have a question about a move called Lifeline. I That's don't triple... remember. I wish I could okay, answer. Never mind, I do not remember. All right, then. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I haven't mentioned yet. Frog's backstory was interesting. Uh, we haven't really uh, talked about Frog, Isla, or Magus. I mean, we did a little bit. Uh, Magus, Magus. I think we did talk about Magus, and I think Magus. I think Magus's character is interesting, but he joins your party too late. Yeah, I think that's uh, pretty Frog, fair. Frog, Frog um, had a fucking sad-ish backstory, and yeah, who he? I don't actually know how he developed from who he was to who he is now. Uh, so he was the now apprentice. he's so strong, co stoic, and brave. Yeah. And the last time we saw him in the fucking flashbacks, he's still a coward who just got his ass beat. But now he's so calm, stoic, and brave. Mm -hmm. And and a badass. I like him. Yeah. He's super cool. Yeah. When yeah, I lost he has Toronto, a cool he, he has a cool theme. Him. I like the way that his, I like the way that he has a Masamune item combo where if you're using the Masamune, he has a high crit rate as long as you're using the hero metal. Mm-hmm. That was cool, and then uh, that was it. Uh, he didn't. He's he hasn't done much in my story. I haven't gotten a lot of his flavor text because I'm uh, just like. Uh, I, I think that's fair. So that's why you don't have like a huge opinion on Frog. Yeah, keep in mind my hugest opinions are Robot and Marl. Even though I get to watch them interact with shit the longest. Okay. Though Frog did have a cool moment because Frog replaced Chrono on my team when I lost Chrono. Yeah. I, I don't know if if other characters. I don't know if other characters do this, but uh, I went into the forest after um. After, I don't know, some beam fucking wiped out all the Sky Islands, which caused a tsunami or some shit. Is that then, like uh, when the Queen did the thing and so like all the Sky Islands like fell? It was basically towards the end of uh, that period. Yeah. Okay. And so uh, you go into the forest, you go into the forest and like Dalton attacks you. And yeah, Dalton throws like Dalton. a missile. Dalton throws like a middle at fro a missile at Frog and Frog like flings it aside and he's like haha that won't work on me and I'm just like haha frog's a badass what are you gonna do now <laughs> and then he throws three more missiles and it kills everyone and I'm just like what the fuck frog I like Dalton just because like I felt like his personality is like I have super confidence I get my way and then when when you basically thwart him he's like fuck I didn't anticipate Damn. this shit <laughs> I thought this would go way better and than al this. And also, he puts wings on your uh, on your time traveling spaceship. He did that. Yeah. Okay, I was wondering why my spaceship could fly after that period of Cause, time. Because Dalton made it happen. He's just like this ship is useless if it can't like fly and do anything. Here, allow me to. If it can't fly through it. this timeline, and I'm just like, did he ever find out he could go to other timelines? I don't think he did. I think he just assumed that you know the spaceship sucked. Or like <laughs> this, this is just a spaceship <laughs> that doesn't have wings. Yeah, he's just like this thing sucks. Why can't it fly? This is trash. <laughs> Why so, didn't you know that you were driving around in trash? And so he made it so you have uh, maneuverability. That's. Cool. That explains why that happened. That's a good. That's a nice organic reason to have wings. I was really confused because I'm just like, why can't it fly now? Uh, yeah, because Sultan was just like, I have this thing. Why can't it fly? I like how Dalton's just like, I don't have to dirty my hands with this. Gull him, gull him, get him. And then I'm just like, oh okay, I don't have to. And then you meet him again. I, don't I, have I to like dirty how my he hands also has double gull him, get him. He's like. Lackeys? Yeah, remember the guys that have like the mask, like the shy guy looking guys with poles? Yeah, kinda. Yeah. 
Well, they follow his Dolphin orders. Dolphin scenes have been... Dolphin scenes have been kind of forgettable. Except for the fact that he's just like, I'm gonna put wings on this thing. Something kind of makes me really confused, and I don't entirely get how this works. You know how you bring everyone to that room in, uh, in End of Time, and you'll give that character magic so they can start learning magic? Yeah. Um... I don't understand the reason he gives her why he can't give Isla magic. I think it's because she's too stupid. No, that's not actually the reason he gives. Uh, the, re- the reason he gives that he can't give Isla magic is because she was born before magic was created. Okay, so you know that time period, the one where all the floating sky- skies and everything? Yeah, and I'm assuming that's when magic got created. Yeah, well, that's when but magic became very popular. At, pop- at the same time, I would like to raise my hand and go... Wait, what is magic? Uh, I think it's something that people can learn, and I think it's beyond our comprehension. If magic magic is something that can exist and people can learn, and yet it hadn't been seen in a really long time, magic was super surprising to, like, Marl when Marl was introduced to magic. She's like, whoa, magic. I'm I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, so is magic a thing people can learn if you give them the option? I was going to say yes. Why, if so, why can't Isla learn it? I have Ty, a hypothesis. Like, is, is it, a, it was magic eventually ingrained in people's genetics after its creation? Uh, I was going to say, I, I feel like Isla's brain is too undeveloped to, to comprehend it. I mean, I'll take that, but it just feels like if that was, if that was the uh, reason they wanted... He's not the kind of character who'd beat around the bush at that. Just like you're too fucking dumb. <laughs> well, that and also uh, Isla's the strongest character, so she doesn't even need it to begin with. Yeah, I know. yeah, you're, you're right. She doesn't even need a weapon. She she just naturally has the strongest physical strength. She. Yeah. I have a question. Yeah. Is Frog's original name Glenn? Yes. Okay, then I gotta go. I gotta go do that. I I found a ghost, and he's just like Glenn. And I'm just like, ooh, Glenn. And I'm just like, I wonder who Glenn is. <laughs> it's Frog. And then, and then after I was going through the space, after I was starting to go through the ship, I'm just like, I wonder if it's, I wonder if it's Frog, because I know Frog's not his original name. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's always been Frog. What are you talking about? It's Glenn. me, Frog. <laughs> it's me, Frog. Me, Frog. You no, know, Frog. Uh, as far as I'm aware, uh. Isla is the strongest physical character. Meg is the strongest magical based character. That's and it. and if you have Marl and Smile, a uh, Smiler, fucking, I called him Smiler. Robo. I can explain why to you later. Yeah, no, Robo. you already explained you it. You're, like, you're talking about Robo or whatever yeah, his I'm name, Robot. Robo. I called him Smiler for very personal reasons, and that's um, fine. You know, he's just Smiler to you. I'm not trying to correct you on that. So and it also you can name him whatever you want. Yeah. To. You can, uh, he's so a so Robo, Robo. If you have Robo on your team, Robo learns Heal Beam, which mass heals the party. And, it's and if you have Marl on your net. team, Marl can Marl can mega heal your party. And so uh, I've I've always had good heals in my party, no matter who's who's available. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, fucking, I I really I really like team synergy team synergy in this game. Oh yeah, you, I like you the, have I like the, the double idea. attacks, the triple attacks. Yeah, how many other triple attacks are there? I only have the one. Uh, I want to say there's there's at least two, if not three. I think there's three. I have one, I have a triple attack called Lifeline, where Chrono, Marl, and Robot put up their hands, and the next time they die, they'll come back to life. Okay, I know there's one with Frog. I know there's I one have, with Frog I, and Chrono. It's like X, it's like cross slash or X slash, uh, and there, I don't know who the third person is, but I know Fro- Frog has like a has one where he basically just summons a giant frog, and it rains on the whole entire enemy party, and it does massive damage. Good. Uh, so I know about that one. I, if there's another one, I can't think of it. I just I really like the team synergy attacks i like that they i like that there can be team synergy attack uh team synergy between characters who aren't chrono mm-hmm. that implies that they had to take the time and think about every possible potential team combination you'd end up with also let's and be honest animate and and animate and code that shit oh absolutely 
The reason that you lose Chrono is the game telling you, hey, you don't have to have Chrono in your party anymore. They force you to have Chrono in your party up till that point. Yeah, they do. And then after that happens, like, now you can have any combination you want. Including not Chrono. Including not Chrono, but you can get him back. You, Which is you, this you, odd, you, you, I, I gotta be honest, I had this odd, like, uh, abandonment period. Like, you, you know how you're just like, I don't have Chrono in my party. It feels really fucking weird not to have the main protagonist. Yeah, I just used Magus as my Chrono replacement once I got Magus. Yeah, which I think is, is well, valid. That's because Magus is a better Chrono. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, I can get behind that. He's my favorite character, but I was just gonna say, like, I started have like I started having like this abandonment anxiety when uh, Chrono when Chrono was gone, and so I was just like, I had to get Chrono back. Just, just to be fair. Massive... To be fair, even though you can get him back, they fucking they killed their protagonist. They the did. protagonist died in this game. Legitimately. And, and I'm just thinking to myself, I'm just thinking to myself, I have to get, I have to get Chrono back. And I remember, like, I couldn't figure it out. It, it wasn't made apparent, so I did look that up back in the day. And so I was like, oh, how is I oh, supposed I, to figure I out been, all these 13 I been, steps? I have been, I have been diligently not using walkthroughs. How did you And this game has out? actually, how did I figure out? Yeah. I, every time I have a problem, I just talk to the old man at the end of time. Really? Yeah. He'll... He'll usually point you in you the know, right direction. I, I feel like I never really figured that out. Yeah, just go talk to the old. And the only thing, the only thing I've had to Google at all, and this is this was a minor thing, when you're doing the save Chrono mission, and she's like, "You gotta go talk to this guy. He likes carnivals." I spent three hours. Oh, running around the that doctor, carnival. doctor was it Laughlin or something? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Actually, I think that's where I got stuck. So. I'm pretty sure we both got held up on the same part. We didn't know who the guy was. Yeah, we didn't. And I, you forgot about like, he loves carnival. He loves carnivals, and I'm just like, okay, I know a carnival. I didn't once consider going in the tent. I didn't either, because you don't, you forget about that guy. I think at the very beginning, when I when I first started playing it, I went in the tent. I did the game, and then I was like, well, that was really fun. And then, I guess my. Main problem was like I thought it sounded like he goes to carnivals and I'm just like, well then he's not one of the carnies. I was thinking more along the lines, uh, talk to everyone, and and for some reason the tent I just spaced the tent, so I was just like I talked, I swear I I talked to people and uh, I couldn't figure it out and eventually I had to cave in and look at a walkthrough on like mm -hmm. talk talk to doctor whatever. Get a chrono that's, doll. That's Thankfully, that's the only thing I had to I had to Google. And all I did was Google his name, and when, the second I saw the screen cap, I was like, "Oh, I know who that is." Yeah. And then, uh, and and um, that's it. I've I've been able to get it. I've been able to get through everything else Google free. Hey, there you go. Uh oh, I know who we need to talk about. Who? Isla. I have nothing to say about Isla. Really? I have fucking nothing to say about but Isla. But she's the launch I don't, of the. I don't. <laughs> I don't hate her character. I don't love her character. I was kind of a representation of my biggest problem with this game, actually. <laughs> I would like to delve into this topic. So, my biggest problem with the game is that plot points have very little connecting thread to them. Uh, from the start of the game, it's just like, thing happened, better go do thing thus thing, better go do thing, thus thing, better go do thing. And you have the general overarching goal after a while of, like, stop Lavos. But at the same time, like, you're just putzing around. Like, yeah. you're just like, I, I should go get the Masha Mune. And, and she's enough. kind of... And then, and then you meet Isla, and Isla's kind of like the epitome of this. You meet Isla, and she's just like, must do this now, and, and now and you gotta go do English. that. You, you gotta, you gotta go fight dinosaurs. Why Isla needs you to? Yeah, oddly and, enough, uh, Lavos is not on the planet yet. No, uh, Lavos is the is the meteor that wiped out the dinosaurs. Supposedly. Just, I guess, also very slowly. Yeah, but at the same time, because you can still go back there. Yeah, it, but it's like, yeah, Lavos, Lavos is on the planet when you first meet Isla. Yeah, and he's in the planet the rest of the time. Yeah. And so, like, Isla's just like, we have to go do this, it's time to go do this, and I'm just like, Isla, if we removed this side character that was created just to cause this situation to happen, would we lose anything? 
Would we lose anything? You, you'd lose, anything at all. You'd lose the plot point when you get to see Lavos creaming into the earth. I feel like there could have been more... Um, you No, know, I don't think there could have been a more organic way. I feel like it could have been very easy. Actually, if, like, no, she's... I got it. I got it. Uh, you could have done it in the magic period, and that would have been the reason why all the all the plant like all the uh, islands fall. Like, like maybe maybe the queen bitch. She's just like, oh fuck! I know exactly how they could have done this. I know exactly how they could have done this in the in the in the uh, ancient period. So they could have kept Isla in a way that would have been organic. Oh please. Um, the moss the Masamune needs to be recharged and being recharged just involves it being out and available and being out like in, in the sun or some shit for an extremely long period of time so you so you take isla to the uh to the pterodactyl nest uh and then and then you're just like okay you, so you say that this is where the pterodactyls are they can take us to the cave where we let where we can leave the masamune where um we let where we found the masamune later and so you take the pterodactyls to that cave, and on your way out, you see Lavos hit the earth. Yeah. Yeah. Granted, I hate the Masamune, because the Masamune is one of these breadcrumb trails that you have to go on. It's like, we should find the Masamune. Oh, no, it's broken. If only we had someone to fix it. And they kind of oh, force you to do this. Yeah, and they force you to go on a side quest. It's just like... Hope, hope you know what to do. And I'm just like, Frog, Masamune. And he's just like, if only I had the Masamune. I'm like, Frog, Masamune. If only I had it. Frog, no, if only I had the Masamune. But, like, he, then you'd leave and you realize that you have to go to another area you probably missed mm -hmm. and have this kid give you the hero medal. Yeah, I remember I remember that whole And now Frog's quest. just like, the hero medal and the Masamune? Oh, but it's broken. And we're just like, we know a guy who can fix it. Even though from the second... I fucked up. I fucked up here really bad. When a character was just like, it needs to be fixed. And it's just like, go talk to Melchior. And I go talk, I go to Melchior's house. She's like, I'm not here. I'm out. And I'm just like, well, I bet that he's at the carnival or some <laughs> shit. So I went everywhere in that time period. I went everywhere in I that time like period. I feel like I've had this issue too, where I, like, there was something I was just, like, missing. And I went everywhere in a time period trying to find it as well. I had no idea that what the game wanted me to do was go back. I figured it out eventually. Again, I only looked at a walkthrough once. Mm -hmm. That it wanted me to go back in time and get, and get the hero medal from the kid who I didn't know had it. The, the fake I ba one. Basically, I, basi I basically went to an area, and what happened was it's just like, uh, I was just like, fine, I'll just start exploring in this area. Maybe, like, something will happen. It's fucking because I, I was tired. I was tired of, of running around the mid modern era, and so fucking then suddenly a kid appears and she's like, "I am a hero. Watch out!" And I'm just like, my "God, oh, oh my fucking god!" I preempted the game, and that was the game's way of fucking with me over it. <laughs> what an asshole! Damn you, Chrono Trigger. It's especially shitty because when you go in there, Marl goes. Ah, oh, right when I need him, he's gotta be somewhere. And if she never said he's gotta be somewhere, I never would have been looking for him. I would have assumed I'm too early. Because that's a very common game designer thing. It's just like, well, I mean, like, it wouldn't make sense to do this without Frog or some shit. But at the same thing, she's like, he's gotta be somewhere. And I'm just like, oh, he wants to go on to the carnival. That's going on right now. And then he stopped in at mom's place, and she's like, I heard about your execution. I'm just like, oh, yeah, sorry about that. My bad. Let's see. There, there is something cool I had to explain, because uh, you saw the cutscenes. Did you see the opening cutscene? Like, like if you leave the game on I too have, long, and it, it just plays? I have not. I have skipped it every time. Okay. I always I always skip opening cutscenes to avoid spoilers until I'm done with the game. Okay, well, this isn't much of a spoiler, and I guarantee you, anything that you've seen to this point uh, no longer would be a spoiler, because you pretty much passed everything. Uh, I digress, not the point. The point is, remember the skeleton boss at the bridge? Yeah. He's in the cutscene, and when I first saw it, I was hyped as hell to get to that part, because you see Frog and Chrono do a cross slash on him, and it looks badass as fuck fuck and i was like oh yeah you get, what you get to do that cross on him well i mean you can't wait but... no you don't frog's not in your party 
Okay, well, point is, in the cutscene, it looks badass as fuck, and I got super excited to get to it, and when I finally got to that point, guess what didn't happen? That! <laughs> it was like it's such a letdown. not in your party. It was the biggest letdown you, you in the entire that, game. Cross, you can do that, you can do that cross slash to that boss later, that's not his, that's not that boss's last appearance. Yeah, yeah, I, I know that you can do stuff, I'm just saying, they, they make it, I'm pretty sure it's at the bridge, and I'm pretty sure that they, like, make it look badass as all hell when, when they do it, and I was, like, super excited, and it didn't happen, and I was super, de like, sad about it. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was super lame. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder if this is a good time to talk about the combat. And I know we talked about the text, but I haven't talked about the combat itself. Uh, go for it. This game is piss baby easy. <laughs> so Persona Five levels of combat. This game is piss baby fucking easy. All you need is a competent healer and uh, or and or mass heal. All you need, like I I've died to this one boss once. Before we're just pointing this out, Wait, which boss? But all you need is a healer uh, to the boss where, like, the queen turns <laughs> into two hands that just start draining your shit. Oh, oh, and, like, right, a right. You're, you already talked about that. Yeah. yeah. And so, and so for me, combat has boiled down to uh, Marl and Bot got a got a combo ability very early on called Ice Tackle, where where Marl puts ice on Bot, and then Bot hits for a mass of. Uh, not quite magic, but not quite physical damage. And the reason I know it's not quite either is because um, if a monster is immune to one, it'll work. And if a monster is immune to the other, it'll still work. Mm -hmm. And that attack does a fuck ton of damage every single time. <laughs> That's right. Marl's so all you got, ice base, like, isn't she? All you gotta do is keep your party healthy, but like, like just skip an, skip an ice tackle every now and then. And, and to heal, and then just throw your robot at him. Cover him in ice and just throw him at the boss over and over again until he dies. It will work every time. And maybe this is just me being an asshole. I know a lot of people who are just like, well, if the game's too easy, don't use that team. But at the same time, it's like, I just found the tactic that I want to use, that I, like, I'm comfortable using to win this game. <laughs> Like, it's just like, the, the game shouldn't let me do this in this piss baby easy way. And I get the feeling from when I, uh, when I didn't have Chrono in my party and I wasn't spamming it that much. There's still plenty of other ways to fuck, fucking, fuck, man. <laughs> I, think, I think that's a good statement on the combat. Uh, anyways. I, I still enjoy the combat. I think the combat's fun when you're, uh. When you're when you're not having a piss baby easy time <laughs> and like you're able to start going through all your tools, he's like, oh, he's fucked, he's fucked. There was a boss very early on who kind of fucked my shit up. Who uh, not very early on, very late on, who uh, whose primary attack puts confuse on the whole party. I'm trying to remember it's, if I if I. It's at the beginning. It's at the beginning of the ship. Uh. The queen's just like. Lavos comes in this many days, and then she fucks off and summons this boss. I'm trying to remember. I can't. I, I can't remember. I'm sorry. This. You know. You want to know where I remember from the spaceship? I remember it being long as all fuck, and I remember the queen at the very end, like on top of it, where you fight. Her, you fight her like in a giant face and two hands, uh, and I remember yeah. like the the aliens looking really bizarre, and I think there were some mutants that also looked equally as bizarre. Uh, that's it. Yep. And you run into uh, you run into two versions of the robot from the start of the game in the tutorial. You run into two versions of him, and they both play a song that puts confuse on the whole party. Oh, so what the I had... gato, the gato dude, guy, Mister, whatever. Yeah. 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 Oh, you know what I just remembered, out of nowhere, what? and also equally just as pointless. Yeah. There is an anime, like one one episode anime, a Chrono Trigger that I could probably oh. find on on YouTube, but it, I, I'm pretty sure it happens like with the events after Chrono Trigger, and it's also uh, I don't remember who it features, but it's like none of the main cast. It's basically just yeah. taking place during the the festival. Okay. Yeah. Uh, with a bunch oh, of the shit. side I characters. Think I, know, I, think, I think I know a topic I haven't touched on yet. All right. The, the music. 
the, hey, let's talk about the music. I'm in. You want to hear my opinion on the music? Because this is a bit long and drawn out. Some of it's good. It's some of it's okay. Yeah. But the rest of it is what is your opinion? Kind of men, forgettable. No, that that was it. Some of it's okay. Some of it's really forgettable. Some of us, there's one track that I really liked because it was so unsettling, and that's it. Which is? When, when you first go into Magus's house, and you're going through the haunted house, there's just this one track playing with, like, an organ or something playing. Yeah. yeah. And then every, every like, four seconds, there's this screaming guy in the background going, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> being Titus, yeah. No, I got like, you. Like, he's very, like, it, it's very clear that he's, like, being tortured or something, and he's, like, finally snapped. It's like a, it's a really good voice clip. Yeah, it's a fucking amazing voice clip. But at the same time, if that's the only track I remember from your game, that like twenty second loop. Mm. Well, to be fair, it does. It is part of Magus's theme, like his battle theme. I think I remember that theme. I think I remember liking it. Like they got a lot of use out of that clip. It was I'm I I'm willing to bet the guy who recorded that clip. Uh, works on set, and I really want to hand him a fjord at forty dollars. <laughs> that's that's an um, that's that's an amazing tortured laugh, fucking laugh, and he does it so well. And it fucking it's so unsettling. It's unsettling the whole time. And I'm not gonna be one of those babies who's like I wasn't unsettled at all. I'm just like, oh fuck, that's a really good laugh. It's also and it goes of... it goes really well with the track it's playing on. Yeah. It also goes well in the battle and, theme. And that and that track plays during battles. But it, like the battle theme gets cut out for like that entire area. The battle and boss theme both. I I don't remember the boss theme gets cut out, but the battle theme gets cut out completely for that track. And that's and that was so weird for me. And it didn't go anywhere. <laughs> I thought that I thought that that meant like something horrific was happening and something big was happening. It was just setting up a standard, uh, the standard, uh, following the breadcrumbs shit. So like, you got to get through the dungeon so you can go fight Magus, so you can go get the next thing to happen, yeah, and so on and so yeah. on. But still, the boss fight with Magus was pretty epic. It was good. That was a, that the music was, a, was fantastic. The music was good. The boss fight, I I did that strat I told you about, where you just oh, got to yeah, make sure yeah. everyone's healthy and keep throwing an ice robot at him. It, not important. I'm just saying the build up to it. I, I like how there's kind of this howling, howling wind vibe going along with like the the tortured man laughing, in the organ, how it's kind yeah. of unsettling. But at the same time, they were it, really it kind of builds they were up. they really wanted that fight to feel like a final boss. Uh, they wanted to, to have some weight to it. It didn't <laughs> mostly because up until that point, I didn't know who Magus was. That frog didn't like a lot. Well. I feel like they talked about him a lot, but that was bit Morty. <laughs> like, uh, like the Magus is the reason for everyone's problems in this timeline. I'm just, oh no, Magus is the reason for everyone's problems in this timeline. Magus is the current villain of this timeline. Yeah, and that's all that translated to to me. It didn't translate to Magus is a mega badass. It translated to like Magus is the boss right now that I have to go beat up. Yeah. Well, see, and I didn't. I didn't think of it much more than that. Even when that track started playing, it's just like, ha ha, and then, like, the fucking creepy laughter and shit. I'm just like, man, this is a lot of build up to the guy I know I have to go beat up. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, they they talk about him a lot. That that's basically all you really have to. Go. He means a lot to Frog. He means, he means a, a lot fuck to, ton the to the Frog. Art. He means a lot to Ozzy. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Got out there. Yeah, he means a lot of he means a lot to Frog, and he means a lot to the people of the 600 era. Yeah, he doesn't mean anything to like anyone else. No. Go to another era, they'd all forget. They all forget that Frog that Magus even existed. And I want to say maybe what made it worse for me was uh, it's just like we have to go stop Magus. But while while, while I was uh, when I gave up on looking for Malkier, uh, I believe they already gave you access to the BC era, to the uh, to Isla's era. You couldn't meet Isla yet, but I went there. I went up and down um, fucking pterodactyl, the pterodactyl nest twice. Really? Yeah, I went up and down it twice because I really, I, uh, the, battle, the battles were giving me a form of challenge because everyone was, everything was a higher level than me. Nah, I also, I really liked leveling up at the end of like every fucking battle. 
it felt good. And then I went back to the BC era and I found the kid and I got the hero medal and I got frog on my team. And then I got to that dungeon. I'm just like, all right. So now that I'm fully aware that there's like at least four different eras, um, Magus, you're the boss of this era. Got it. And then he wound up being more important than that, but I didn't think of him as more important than that at that time. That's fair. So that that kind of that kind of hindered that fight for me a little bit. Again, it was a big deal for fucking Frog, but that's it. It didn't feel like a big deal for me. It didn't feel like a big deal for Marl. It felt like we all could have left right then and there, and nothing bad would happen. In hindsight, I, it it kind of felt like it. I couldn't actually figure out what would happen after I beat Magus on account of the fact that it's just like, I couldn't figure out what fighting Magus had to do with fucking, fucking up Lavos. Because by then, Lavos was our goal. By then, Lavos was super our goal. Yeah. But it didn't matter at all because, like, fucking the plot can't continue until you get Frog and give him his sword and go punch Magus. Y you know, and I at think that point, that's kind of one of the weak points. It, it, it's kind of, that's kind of... Chrono Trigger in a nutshell, it's, you get a bunch of these side plots, you know, like you had to go beat up Magus or you had to go beat up the dinosaur people because, you know, they're they're imposing some sort of threat. They're, they're fucking with Isla and we can't have people fuck with this woman. <laughs> well, you I was just going to say they're imposing some sort of threat in the time period, but I, I don't know. At the very most, it's indirectly affecting Ma L Lavos. We learn, we learn when you interfere with things changes time. Yeah. Time isn't a loop like time isn't a closed loop where you do something because you've already done it. Time is very clearly changing because you've affected it. Yeah. Hence why robots still in the past and, and why that forest isn't there until you do something. Right. As such. If you never went to the BC era and you never dealt with Isla's problems, everything would have been fine. <laughs> well, you'd have dinosaur people. No, you wouldn't. I'm not you, so you sure would not. about that. You would not have that. Well, you'd also not have people. You No, you still would. Well, There's people at the start of the game. Yeah. But also because, you know, Lavos kind of affected them. But I'm just saying, when Isla was attacking the dinosaur people, the dinosaur people were basically Lavos, waging war Lavos, on humans. Lavos isn't a timeless being. I'm not saying all it's of a the timeless thing, being. All of the things that happened in history will happen regardless of your actions. Everything that changes in the future changes because you changed something in the past. Not because you've already stopped the war between the humans and the dinosaur people in the past. They already stopped that war at a different point for some reason. Humans still exist. Um, very similar very similar to how um the princess was still kidnapped in the in the 600 era regardless of you showing up. But the only difference is once Marl got there and fucked things up, she removed herself from history by um by by giving by making it seem like she's fine and therefore causing the guards to give up the search. Well, okay, how how and so, therefore, they never found the princess, and she never existed. Well, then, how about this? Because, I mean, now that Chrono got introduced to the dinosaur people, like, the, the ancient prehistoric time, uh, because now he's, now he's an important character to that time period, that might have fucked things up. We don't know that. We don't know, it but I'm just it saying It could have, it could have not. This is, this is, it, yeah. Theoretically, once we've been there, we've affected it. But theoretically, we also had no real reason to go there. We didn't. I would like to. I would like to add the reason you canonically have to go there is because the Masamune needs to be fixed, and the Masamune needs to be fixed because otherwise, Frog won't stop stalking. He won't have the bad. Masamune. I'd like to see Frog's uh, inevitable sulking and how it like, ends I think, all the time. I think you just said it, and I've been saying it a lot. My biggest problem with Chrono Trigger is events breadcrumb trail to each other in really dumb ways that I can't, like, you're following the trail, but you can't honestly figure out how getting to the end of this trail solves anything. Which is weird because this is how One Piece works. But One Piece is just like, you go, they're going to all these islands and they have to do whatever they're doing on the islands because, A, they're, they have to stay on the island for a certain amount of time for their compass to go to tell them where the next island is. 
and B, we know what's at the end of this breadcrumb trail. Wait a second. We know that all they have to do is go from island to island and they get the one piece. Hold the phone. Mm -hmm. I got a question. Uh, okay. Because Chrono affected time, right? Yeah. Is it safe to say that time was always meant to be affected by Chrono? Or is no. it the other way around? Incorrect. How, how do we know? Be because it's not a cause and effect timeline. Because it is a cause and effect timeline. Things happen because Chrono affected them. Yeah. Things do. Things. Things will not happen unless Chrono ch changes something. So if Chrono never went to the past, or like if Chrono, if Chrono never went into the past, all of history would have played out exactly as it had by the time the game starts. But how, are you sure about that? I'm 100% sure. I'm not so sure about it. Like, the thing, my reasoning is, we know that time is working the pretty only, much. The only evidence you have to prove to me that this isn't a cause and effect timeline is getting Chrono back. And how the fact that time is stopped during that when you make the switch doesn't make sense. <laughs> then you could use that as evidence to show me that there is, in fact... Uh, a secondary loop that is a go that is going on, irregardless of what's happening. I'm just saying. I wonder if it's kind of like Final Fantasy VIII eight rules, where it's like things are happening because you know it already happened from one timeline. We're just leading up to the events of that happening. I don't. I don't think it's the same because we get to see that things would have been one way unless Chrono went and made him another way. Well, that's just, you, you have, know, that's just you Chrono going there for the first time. What? Well, I mean, Chrono goes there for the first time. That's how the time loop is happening. I'm just saying there's like the, it's a really diff, like, I'm trying to explain it and now I realize it's a really hard topic to explain like there there's two different there's two different kinds of time travel in stories one is the kind of time travel you're talking about which is loops which is things happen because things already happened regardless of um regardless of going through time so like you gain time travel because you've already gained time travel right well, that's where you're going I, with this I, I think chrono so. chrono is chrono is able to time travel because he's already time traveled causing all the events that led up to the main point in the story in which he gains time travel that's what you're saying right i, I i'm not so sure i follow okay. i'm trying to so um so uh it's a very complicated I, I subject in my simple mind let's like, say i feel like I can let's do say it. okay I, I i can explain this in a way i think i think is where you're going uh, with this Alfred, let's say i tripped yeah, I I feel like we should save this for another day because uh, we've already been recording for about an hour and forty minutes. I feel oh, like we should oh, wrap nice. this up. What a podcast! Well, I, I yeah, this isn't. I don't even think this is that big a deal. I've already it's given not, my opinion. I think I've given all of my opinions on Chrono Trigger. Yeah, I'm just saying we should probably talk, like keep it to Chrono Trigger. Talk about I don't know, follow up once you beat Chrono Trigger or something like that, and then go into the heavy duty time. Timeline of Chrono Trigger and I how am like either of I us am, think it I am goes. Ready to have, I'm ready to. I'm ready to have this time travel talk with you. Yeah, but at and the same try to time, figure out the true, I the true trueness. I, I can. I can feel that this is go, going to go on for another hour, <laughs> so we should probably wait. Because <laughs> it's going to be like no, no, yes, yes, no, <laughs> and and it's going to be like oh god, we don't have time for this. Not without it like going into three Not hours. Time travel. <laughs> So, uh, we're, all right. we're, so I'm so, just gonna so say those well, are all up. my thoughts on those are all my thoughts on Chrono Trigger. If I were to give it a score right now without having beaten it yet, I, I would I would probably give it like a solid seven point eight out of ten. And Too also, water. there is a follow up to this, but I'll say that for the next time. Uh, there will be a follow up after I beat Yeah, there will be a follow up episode to this. I'm uncertain when it's gonna get posted though. <laughs> could be the following week. Could be. Not the following week. I am so sorry that this wound up being so long. It's, I had a lot fine. to say. I knew, I knew it was going to go on for a while because, you know, Chrono Trigger is a fantastic game. So I, I guess we'll wrap it up because, you know, Chrono Trigger is a large subject. 
Uh, Alpha Flame still needs to beat it. So I'm just gonna say, if you liked it, good. I'm glad you stayed around. Uh, go go subscribe to Alpha Flame's channel. He does uh, speed runs and I stream fighting games and, and speed runs. Yeah, and go watch him. Hit his little bell icon so you get notified to go do that. Uh, if I you, do that. If, if you if you show up for a stream when I'm playing any. You can join me and feel free to message me and I'll, I'll 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 do a match with you. Yeah, that's the rule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all, likewise, you can also subscribe to the channel if you want. You can make me a total sellout. That's cool. Uh, you can ring my bell Gildum, if you want. Gildum, Gildum deserves more subs. No, he, he has he, no, he does I great don't. let's plays. Oh, Sell out. Oh, never mind. Gildum does horrible let's plays and doesn't deserve <laughs> any subs. Yeah. By the way, we're doing one together. We 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 do we do one together a lot. Yeah, we're doing a nocturne, and I can't say that because it's already out by the time this comes out. So Yay. yeah, officially we are doing nocturne, uh, and yeah, that's a, that's an ongoing series. It's new right now, but it's ongoing between me and Alflin. Uh, other than that, I don't know. Go follow my Twitter, whatever you do. You you don't even have to do any of the things that I, I ask. <laughs> I appreciate it, but it's not necessary. Thank I, I, you for watching. Exactly.